Grant, looks like you just saw a... Uh... bug! <laughs> a bug? You're all freaky over a bug? This is no ordinary bug. You girls are all alike, Britt. What was it, big and hairy with giant claws? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you want some brave soul like me to go in there, right, and squish it with my shoe. Let me see your shoe. You're gonna need a much bigger shoe than that. What happened? I didn't need a bigger shoe. Mine fitted perfectly, and, uh, and I think he wants two more pairs, so I'll be back. European tour. The group is Brain Rot and they're here with us tonight. Let's hear it for them! <laughs> All right, welcome to the show. Um, since you guys haven't played the stage yet, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? All right, I'm Colic, lead vocalist. Rash on drums. Main John Lee guitar. And I'm Rich on bass. Okay, uh, for a new band, you guys are pretty controversial. Why do you think that is? Well, uh, I'd have to say it's our message, uh, isn't it? Of course it is. Right, right. What's your message? Well, it's hate. Lots of hate. Yeah, Lots hate. of hate. <laughs> what do you hate? Well, everything. I mean, you name it, we hate it. Right, right. 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 Um, can you be more specific? Well, Cindy, uh, you see, we hate the injustice that stems from the cesspool of greed and power that's destroying society. Yeah, that's right, right. right. And, uh, and uh, we hate bananas when they turn squishy and get all brown and stuff. Right, right. And, and, and we hate the puppets on the telly. Right, right. 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 And, and I hate me toe jam, man. Right, right, right. right. Me too. Yeah. Right. yeah. I hate that one. I see, um... Why don't you guys tell us about your new CD? Well, Cindy, uh, you see, we want to put out an album that is not only loud, you know, but gets, uh, gets right in your face. You know? All right, well, right in your face, like... Like this glass! Yeah, 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 like, like this glass! Yeah, 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 like this glass! Yeah, like this glass! Like this glass! Like this glass! Like right in your face! Uh, <laughs> Alright, okay, well, while Colic chats with our audience, we have a video from this album, and I believe it's the first time it's been shown in this country, so let's take a look. It's called Death Flight. Death flight. Death flight. Right. <laughs> oh, sing to me, pretty bird. Make a nest up in the trees. See the sun shine down on me. I am getting sleepy. Little bird, little bird. Up my 
my spine. Yeah. Right, mate? Right. Did you like it, Cindy? Frankly, I'm confused. <laughs> well, you've just missed the message. What? The message? Yeah. You know, the birds are symbolic of the innocence lost through the machine of prejudice, <laughs> swallowed all by the hungry line of injustice. Yeah, I guess I missed that. Well, how could you miss it? It was right in your face! I, I don't know. Maybe it was just me. I guess it was. I thought oh, it was. All right. <laughs> Why don't we take another look at the next video? Um, this one's more heavy metal, right? Absolutely. You know, this next one is going to blow the doors off this little place. You know. Oh, blow. Right. Blow. All right. Here's another video from Brain Rot. It's called Nightmare City. No, it's a Nightmare City. Oh, this. <laughs> started a riot in London. Oh, right. yeah, there's, were these people rioting to get into the stadium or out of the stadium? <laughs> what exactly are you trying to say, Cindy? Look, I'm sorry, guys, but I know rock and roll, and you're not heavy metal. You're, you're not even aluminum foil. <laughs> and, frankly, you're not going to have a chance in the States. Ooh! <laughs> oh, we want people us to be liked! <laughs> Now, look what you've done. You've upset him. That's why he's very sensitive. Uh, very sensitive. <laughs> now, if everyone hates us, right. then we've not only communicated our message, pure hatred, but we're the most successful rock band in history! Right! It doesn't matter what Cindy thinks, right? Right, it's what our fans think and they hate it us. Does. Yeah. Yeah. This has got to be the happiest moment of our lives. Oh, God, I'm so happy. I think I'm going to cry. that the meat you serve just doesn't cut it? Mom, this steak is too tough. Then get Velmita, the liquid meat that's neat to eat. Made from nine really gross meat byproducts, Velmita is the liquid meat gourmet taste sensation that's ready to pour in an instant. And it comes in two delicious flavors. Okay, white meat or dark meat? I'll have both. Yeah. <laughs> Velmita's great for barbecues. <laughs> And it's fun to serve. Hey! <laughs> so the next time you want a quick meat meal, who's on over to Velmita? <laughs> hey, the liquid meat that's meat to eat. Hey, what's happening? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Erica. Erica, where are you from? Here at Orlando. You're from Orlando, all right? Okay, well, today is your very lucky day because you actually get the taste of Velmita burger. One delicious Velmita burger special coming up. Isn't that, like, great? It smells good. <laughs> Here, try it. It really does smell good. Come on, dig in. Come on, honey, it's help her out. You good? You like it? What do you think? Not quite. <laughs> Not quite? Hi, Becca. <laughs> Haley. Yeah. Haley, Haley, Haley. How about yeah. a Velmita burger? What? I have time. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Becca, are you watching Emerald Cove? Uh, excuse me. Here. <laughs> excuse me. What? A water pipe broken is like Niagara Falls in your living room? <laughs> well then, Becca, how are you going to see Alex trying to make Jeff forget about Andrea? Back away, stop splashing to the burn. I'll get to here. Anyway, I think Alex really had it coming when Nikki turned her in for cheating on that test. <laughs> Becca, speak up, okay? God. Oh, you're underwater. Bummer. <laughs> oh, Becca, never mind, I gotta go. Cove's on. Last time on Emerald Cove. Well, what's wrong? Miss Stanley's English class. I mean, I I'm getting a C in it. A C. I speak English. Why can't I write it? It's my club. Your club? I suppose you think you own high density, too. You're getting an A in English? 
chill, man. Don't broadcast it. I don't know. I like the more cutting edge stuff. Translation. You like the songs without me in them. How is it that you speak one language and write another? Don't know, dude. It must be because I read a lot. It comes to me on the natch. Like surfing. You're a unique human being. Incoming! Incoming! Clear the base! Incoming, dude! Look out! Incoming! Look out, dude! What's up, bro? I tried to call you last night. Oh, my line was busy, I know. Andrea called from Paris. I tried for over an hour. I know. I mean, it must have cost her father a fortune. So, does she love it there? Yeah, more than she thought she would. Great. So they like her and the modeling's working out? I mean, how could it not? Andrea is so gorgeous. I hope she sticks it out. I think she will. She sounds determined. Well, I always say, if you want something, go for it. Yes, sir, Dr. Johnson? I need to see you in my office. Not me, Dr. Johnson. I didn't do it. Hey, I just got here. You've got to be confusing me with someone else. It's you, Clarence. I'm sure of it. Follow me. Some dude has been spreading bogus info, Dr. Johnson. I had nothing to do with... Nothing to do with what? Well, the cherry bomb in the girls' locker room, sir. Look. I have a total alibi, man, a perfect alibi. Okay, what's your alibi? Uh, 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 okay. Guess it's not a perfect alibi. Go ahead, suspend me, I can handle it. I'm not going to suspend you. Detention? That's such a snore. Look, Dr. Johnson, please, I'd much prefer suspension at least. That way I can surf. Clarence, I know nothing about a cherry bomb. You don't? No. Well, me neither. You know, it was just some rumor I heard, right, bro? Well, if that's all, you know, I got class to get to. I want to talk to you about your writing. Oh, that. No, Bobby wrote the paper, sir, I swear. Look, I might have coached him a little bit, but he wrote every word. This isn't about Bobby's paper. This is about your paper. Oh, that? Guess I am guilty. All right. Nikki, please, what's your problem with Alex? How about what's the problem with me? That's the question. Either way, what's the problem? I don't want to talk about it. Come on, Alex has really helped us out. She's been a big plus. And I'm not? Of course you are. You're more than a plus. You're essential. How many jobs did we get only because they liked your voice? Just about everyone. Exactly, just about everyone. Seems like a long time ago. Nikki, I'll catch you later. Am I missing something? Look, Nikki and Alex have this history, all right? It goes back to when Alex first moved here. But what? What happened? I can't, man. If Nikki wants to tell you, she will. Besides, it's really not a big deal. Come on, it has to be. I'm telling you, it's nothing. It's just that neither one of them can get past it, you know? it's. It's a girl thing. Which means it'll probably go on forever. Yeah, probably. Great. Your short story won first prize for fiction. First prize? No kidding? And Miss Stanley submitted it to the Hargrove Foundation. Far out. I'm really pumped, Dr. Johnson. So what do I get? Like a, a trophy or a ribbon or? What you get is a certificate and a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? Thanks, Dr. Johnson. This is amazing. But it won't be cash, huh? Well, that's okay, though, because we just opened a bank account for the boat business. Well, the bank will definitely take the check. I'm sure they will, and they'll be happy to start a college fund for you. Yeah, sure. That's a great idea, sir. Uh, Clarence, do you have any other clothes? Sure, I got plenty. Might I suggest that tomorrow you dress differently? Differently? How? For what? A photographer is coming from the Emerald Cove Tribune. Your picture is going to be on the front page. Uh, sorry, bad idea. Look, we got to keep this between ourselves, man. You don't want your picture in the paper? No, sir, no way. Clarence, this is an important award. You should be proud. I am, but please, Dr. Johnson, you have to promise me you won't tell anyone.
presents his most daring cologne ever. I'm dating Stacy Bridges behind your back. I'm dating Mitch Dinklitz behind yours. I never really liked you. Your ears are too big. I broke your glasses and blamed your brother. Your friends think you stink at football. I was at the Bulls game with the guys and out of your birthday party. I hate your mother's cooking. I picked my nose. I know. Confession. The truth hurts. Welcome to Babe's Ballpark Diner. Nine innings of food and fun. Right this way. Play ball! Shooter, you take this baseball theme seriously. Yeah, I hope we don't get hit with any foul balls. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go to the restroom. Uh, be back in a second. Time out. <laughs> How you doing, batter? I'm Spark. I'm gonna be your coach today. Here's your lineup. I'd recommend the hot dog leading off with the pitcher lemonade. Then if you finish that, we'll bring in a relief pitcher, batter. Sure. What's the matter there, batter? You look a little nervous. Pre-game jitters? Yeah, actually, I am a little nervous. You see, I'm, I'm thinking of asking Lisa to the prom tonight. All right, all right. Well, just relax at the plate and wait for a good pitch. If you need me, I'll be right over there in the dugout. Get him, Tiger. This place is incredible. The ladies' room has AstroTurf and a scoreboard. Batter up! Man, this place is packed. And the lights are really bright. I feel like I mean on the infield of Yankee Stadium. Really, we can go somewhere else if you want to. Uh, oh, no, if, if it's just crowded, then the food must be really good. Come on, play ball! Uh, Elisa, uh, I know we've only been seeing each other for a short time, uh, but uh, you and I, we, we got a lot in common. Uh, we both like Pearl Jam. Well, you must have mixed me up with someone else. I don't like Pearl Jam. Pitch, but she threw him a curve. He didn't swing up. Sit down, John. Let go. Come on, Rob. Knock one over the fence. <laughs> you know, it's not like that guy just said Rob. Well, it's a common name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, Lisa. Um. <laughs> uh, June is right around the corner. Uh. Well, I don't know. Do you ever get the urge to just? Dress up, uh, maybe put on a corsage and dance. <laughs> what? Strike two! Game go that strike! Perfectly good chit chat. Matter of fact, you're not enough. You're a big bag of wind. All right, Tommy. One more word from you and you're out of here. Go! Uh, uh, Come here, Rob. Uh, what? You got to take it easy, all right? Lisa's a major league babe. You got to hand him where to eat. Now, watch for the chin music. Step into the pitch and swing for the fences, Rob. And don't forget, keep your eye on the ball. What are you talking about? Get in there, Tiger. Bring your little hat, Tiger. Is everything all right? Come on, bad little bingo, yes. bad little bingo, Rob, little bingo. Watch the sides, Rob. Kind of Hit him where they end, Rob. Swing for the fences, Rob. Watch the sides, Would you Rob. cool it? Can't you see I'm trying to ask Lisa to the prom? <laughs> you are? <laughs> to the prom? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, I'd love to go with you, Rob. Yeah! Yeah!
videotaped before a live audience at the Disney MGM Studios in Lake Buena Vista, Florida.